Are you ready to check in on your tarot? <laughs> Come with me. Let's go look. I'm ready to shuffle. Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon. This reading is for adults only. We're going to talk about love and sex. <laughs> We're going to talk about um, things that only adults should watch. This reading is for adults only. Let's get an overall feeling for what we're about to experience here. Capricorn, we're talking with Athena today, so call in. Draw upon the energy of the beautiful ancient Athena and her inner wisdom. Um, the, the energy of Athena is you know what to do. Do not second guess yourself. All right, so it's time to take action. No more waiting around. Athena is gorgeous energy to start this reading with so let us do a reading where the top row will be you and the bottom row will be someone you have a crush on somebody in your life it represents the other person in love somebody about to enter your world capricorn i feel like you have twins or you are involved with a twin or you are a twin capricorn Getting the name Molly, Betty, <laughs> Sierra, Kyle. Getting somebody who has a superhero tattooed on their body. Oh, we're gonna keep them, actually, we're gonna keep them hidden. I think um, you're about to meet a teacher or a professor, or you are a teacher or a professor. Of course, if that doesn't apply, that's not terribly everything of this reading. It's just a suggestion, right? Good morning. How are you? I hope you are well today. This is you, Incoming Love or somebody you have a crush on, or somebody you're with, you, them, you, them, now we're going to throw in these animal cards, definitely get the private school energy here. Switzerland Geneva connection as well. Capricorn. Getting the energy of a bee, <clears throat> a bumblebee, a honeybee. Maybe that's representative to you somehow. You them. Athena. Let's call upon Athena to make this reading brilliant and positive and magical and inspirational. Oh, wow, Capricorn, the tower. <laughs> Let's start big. <laughs> We're starting big. The tower is that scorpion energy, right? It is uh, the universe comes in and through a series of events completely changes your world. So for me, it's all about production. Is that the word I want? Um, revision. That's the word I want. The universe comes in in a big way that is safe and revises your whole situation through a series of events. Um, get ready for a beautiful, gorgeous tower moment. It's not an uh-oh moment. It is a yeah finally things are changing things are moving and it wasn't anything that you decided it is your Athena moment where the universe and Athena comes in and says here 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 now go be a power queen birdie and <clears throat> you say okay because that probably propels you right into this energy of this 
incoming love. They're just ending a chapter in their life. They're just ending a love chapter. They're just divorcing. They're separating. Um, perhaps they are widowed or widower. Uh, but they've just ended in a very a, a love relationship in a very kind way. I feel like they're musical. They have a guitar or something like that. Um, but it, they ended. That says a lot. They ended their relationship amicably with somebody else and, and in a nice way. And they're not bringing any of that baggage into your world. The world, which I just said. <laughs> so the world card is that naked, raw, loving, moving toward the future, completion. It's feminine, feminine receives, right? More than anything, these are two very large cards to start a reading off with. Two very powerful foundations shifting in order to be receptive to this incoming lover. I feel like this is Taurus energy. You know that um, grounded, loving, nurtured these are nurtured changes from Athena, who is ultimately the biggest mom of all of us, right? She's the biggest protector. The Six of Wands is being recognized. It's a serious choice. It's balancing. It's, it's you checking your Mars sign. Sometimes the Six of Wands for me is the Mars in your chart. And perhaps following that part of your chart in the horoscopes for a while. I feel like this person you're meeting has a bird tattooed on their body. Maybe, maybe you get engaged to this person at Christmas. So just taking a little face-to-face -face break here, like those were your first few cards. It should be feeling good. All right. You need to be feeling good. If it's not, you can swipe out. If it's feeling positive and inspirational, let's go continue. Mmm. The Five of Wands reversed is uh, the completion of these tower moments. This is when, when you didn't make decisions, so the universe made them for you. The Five of Wands reversed is much like the tower. You didn't make these decisions, the universe made them for you. And boom, 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 like look out, here it comes. But it's also for you to meet this incoming love. Look at how gentle this rider is on the horse. Their patient, their harmony. Is that who you want as a spouse? Somebody patient in whose harmony you connect with? The Seven of Cups reversed. Cold feet, apprehension. So, <laughs> they've got cold feet and you're going to have to spiritually expand with them to help them through this. That is when you call upon the beautiful, gorgeous Athena with all her ancient inner wisdom to help the energy between the two of you become more harmonized, including through this time when this person gets into their cold feet. It happens to all of us. <laughs> How you respond to it is what's going to make or break this relationship into that commitment that they're wanting. Tarantula. And this is a fire sign in metaphysics. So this can be um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I kind of feel like it's Leo. Uh, the tarantula is making a home. It's action and energy and adventure. 
So you're bringing adventure to this person's life and they're not used to adventure. They get cold feet based on your high energy. And the two of you have to talk that out and create your home together. Create your new motherly home together. Yeah, the earthworm. So the earthworm is, this energy is earth. That's Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It is your energy in their life still at this stage. So this is good. We want your energy in their world right after the cold feet moment. So they get cold feet and they don't run away. They lean into it with you because your card is following them at that moment. The turtle. The turtle is representative of home. Um, it's also that watery energy of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but I don't feel like your love is that Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I just feel like this card to me represents home and for you, it represents your home, the two of you moving into your home after you get through the cold feet moment. The sea serpent is spiritual connection. The sea serpent is all about, um, you know, transcending love, right? It's that unicorn-like love that everybody else wants to be a part of. You're going to be the couple that everybody wants to invite over. People become envious of a sea serpent love relationship because it is expressive and it is publicly expressive and people always get jealous and envious of expressive love um, because it's addicting to watch a couple express themselves to each other without fear, without shame, with desire, with no judgment. This sea serpent comes from the waters of forgiveness. So I think your relationship is going to be based on forgiveness. And Athena teaches that. The biggest, most ancient wisdom Athena teaches is about forgiveness. Not second guessing, right? Going for it. <clears throat> and so let's see if we can get a bit more details. For yourself, family issues, honeymoon. I think that um, you guys will be blending children as step siblings, and it works out good. The children all get along. Yeah, the children all get along with this playfulness energy. Your inner child and their inner child make a connection. And that makes the children you're blending as step-siblings quite happy. Did you catch that? <laughs> your inner child and your love's inner child are the primary focus of forgiveness to each other. That makes the step-siblings of this relationship quite happy. Let's get a blessing from the ancient world with these cards. Here's the blessing. Talismans of potency. So for me, the talisman is sacred objects that show up on your path when you know you're on the right path. So I am going to tell you what those sacred objects will be. A pink flamingo. You're going to see a pink flamingo and know you're on the right path. Uh, what else here? Ooh, a new home. 
This also represents the energy moving into your home, maybe, new people in your home. This African violet, all right? Pink flamingo and African purple violet will be signs that you're on the right love life, okay? One more sign, one more talisman that you're gonna see. A purple angel, so we've got a purple angel, a pink flamingo, I can't even remember what the last one was. I'm just kind of zoned out here right now. Anyway, you heard it. You can rewind. Uh, so this is your reading. It feels right for me. If it doesn't feel right for you, uh, you know what? That's okay. You just need to maybe check that Mars part of the chart or just take the one or two images or sentences that we've talked about here um, as inspiration for your day. I hope I see you again.